but I want to draw your attention to the use of these playful images. The athlete the, of, of faith, the liegeman. In the previous canto, we had a Francis who, I said, parodies all the values of the world. He is called, and that, that has really become uh, a formula <coughs> to describe both Francis and less Dominic, though. They are the so-called, I give it to you in Latin and translate it in, in English, it's, we would call them the clowns of the Lord, the oculatores. They are the clowns, the oculatores domini. Uh, 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 the clowns of the Lord. That is to say, they are playing. They are playing at the world. They play with the world. They bring in a, what we could call, a perspective of play in the world. They are making fun of the world. They are challenging the values of the world. And in this sense, they bring out that which becomes the most impressive aspect of their theology, which is that of a playful theology. We'll talk more about this. The notion that God plays, that creation itself is a spectacle. I call it a theodrama. The idea that God, it's not, it's, it, doesn't, it, 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 it doesn't deprive the divinity of its seriousness, but makes that seriousness part of a world of joy. That's the, that's the whole, the aesthetics, the new aesthetics that uh, Francis manages to release and Dominic manages also to release this kind of playful idea of the world, a comedy. I, I tried to explain to you from the very first day when we got together how complicated it was for me at the time to explain why Dante calls his text a comedy, because it's so sublime. It seems to be, he's talking about how the ordinary, a plain man of the year, around the year 1300, manages to have the most sublime of experiences. And I said, yes, of course, this is about the happy ending, because comedies are always the genre of happy ending. It is about the, the low level of experience. It's about the vulgar language that Dante uses. But the real and substantial reason for uh, Dante calling his poem a comedy, and for the readers, uh, using the attribute of divine was exact, is exactly that, a way of responding to this uh, uh, sense of uh, the joyful quality of creation. That's, that's the point. So for all the series, for all the horror that we have been witnessing through hell and purgatory, joy seems to be that with toward which Dante is moving. Not a tragic vision, because once you play of, once you think of play, you can no longer have the tragic vision, because you understand that the tragic vision is part of something larger. It is, it is, it is part, it's a vicissitudes, you know, the comedies and tragedies, elegies are all linked to the wheel of fortune in medieval iconography. So you keep going around, but they're all part of something really larger, which is this playful uh, theology, this theologia ludens. Uh, that uh, that he has been encompassing, uh, that he has been uh, preparing for us.